The Fitchburg Historical Society's collection is growing as they work to preserve images, documents, and lots of other items from Fitchburg's past. Our City News, Arissa Page, got a chance to stop by the Historical Society's renovated Main Street building to take a look at some of the amazing things in the collection. Thanks, Steph. I'm here at the Fitchburg Historical Society with Susan Navarre. Hi, how are you doing this evening? Hi, very well. Awesome. So what are the new things that you have coming in? Well, we have quite a few things that are being given to us at the Historical Society, and there isn't much that we accept because we already have a big collection of uh, important Fitchburg history, but we've been uh, given some things that the Collections Committee looked at recently, and I thought that we'd have one of the members of the Collections Committee show you a couple of the gems. Oh, I'm excited. So, um, what events do you have coming up? I hear you have a lot of things. Yes, there's a lot that's going to be happening. Here We're here at 781 Main Street in the Phoenix Building and we like to host lots of talks about local history. And so coming up on February 8th, we're going to have a Fitchburg uh, State University professor, Keisha Tracy, and she's actually a specialist in medieval uh, history and literature. So she's going to talk about some of the comparisons between local Fitchburg history that she's studied and medieval history because there's some interesting parallels between the two times. So she'll be looking, sh looking at and showing beautiful photos of medieval history in Europe and some of the history here in Fitchburg. So that's on February 8th. And then coming up for um, President's Day, uh, actually I've been asked to speak at the Senior Center about the presidents who visited Fitchburg. So I'll be talking on that on the morning of February 28th. Wow, that all sounds amazing. I can't wait. So with the investments of, from the Historical Society in downtown along with FSU um, and now the renovation of City Hall, um, things are looking pretty good here on Main Street. Yeah, we're really excited to see that, that each of these nonprofits and the city are all investing in our infrastructure here, just as we did when we purchased the Phoenix Building and renovated it in order to open in 2013. It really means that there are more and more reasons for people to come back down to downtown and be active here. And I think if they come to visit and see our free exhibitions and come for our special events, they'll really be, really be excited about Fitchburg and its history. I'm here with Asher Jackson and Susan Navarre. You have some new items to be added to the Historical Society today, so uh, what do you have? So uh, today we were looking at um, some items that we took into the collections. Um, Right here we have, uh, it's called Artwork from Fitchburg and Vicinity. Um, what this is, is uh, it's a book of photographs that was done before people took photographs on their own. Wow, that's amazing. So um, before people had the kind of equipment and the portability of, of, of modern photography, um, uh, publishers would publish books of photographs from whole cities. And then you would buy this and then you would keep this in your home kind of as a, as a photographic record of the town that you lived in. Um, so this covers all of the historic buildings in Fitchburg from the 1890s. Uh, so it's a really valuable resource for us, especially for researchers who need to maybe see buildings that may not even exist anymore. So uh, that was a, something that we thought was really valuable. Um, the other thing we got in today that we thought would be interesting is um, this is a ledger from the uh, Fitchburg Woolen Mill Company from, again, from the 18, uh, from the 1860s, actually. And what's interesting about this is it's got beautiful handwriting in it. Um, somebody was very meticulous about keeping a, a really nice ledger. It has a couple of really important pieces of information in it for researchers. Um, one of the things that it has in it is a record of who invested in the Woolen Mill Company. Um, so whenever they were looking for capital for their mill, um, they, uh, they kept a record of who actually uh, gave them money and invested in their company. Um, the other thing that's in here that's really interesting is what they spent on raw materials. So they would, when they bought mill, uh, wool from farmers, for example, um, they would keep a record of how much uh, raw wool they bought from each farm and how much it cost them. Um, so it was a way of them keeping track of uh, cost controls as well. That's wonderful. I'm very excited for these new items. So Susan, when and where is this event again? Well, the Fitchburg Historical Society is located in the Phoenix Building at 781 Main Street, and we're open Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, and it's free to visit. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm Arissa Page. This is Our City News. Back to you, Steph.